I love the movement in this game. I don't know what to tell you guys. The mechanics of this game, I love them. <laughs> That's gonna be my commentary for throughout the entire thing. I love this. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's, it's good, like, after playing a couple of games that we that we didn't particularly care for at certain points, it's good to play a game you genuinely do love. After playing a game about galactic-sized blue balls... <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not over that. It's just too fucking hilarious. Literally, the entire plot could be, he got blue balled so hard, he went, he went and tried to kill his... Lover, his ex lover, and his kid. And it fucked and up got, the time stream. And got Just the fucking uh, existence deleted. <laughs> literally got existence deleted by a petty and pissed off lion god. Just, what the fuck? Uh, time what spinner. the fuck even was that game? Time spinner sure is uh, a thing. <laughs> it's, it's a thing, it's a thing, and that's what we're gonna explain about it. You need to see it. Ah, here's the chest that you need the power seals for. What's with the big mysterious chest? It appeared when you smashed your first power seal. You still need to smash 44 power seals to open that. 45 power seals in total? Yeah. That's a lot He's of power seals. He's not a lot. Well, I'll take this one. Enemies will sometimes <laughs> drop HP. Oh, well, that's pretty good. What's that dresser over in the left hand corner? <laughs> If you try to use it too early, the shopkeeper will warn you that you should not try his patience because he will tell you a long and boring story. <laughs> I kind of want to see this long and boring story. Well, we can do that next the time we go to the shop. Mighty what? Ruxton. Ruxton. No, that's just that's not a name you fear. That's a name you make fun of at high school. I wonder if it's a reference to Teddy Ruxpin. <laughs> it probably <laughs> is. Uh, <laughs> um, what now? We have a the visitor. The staff can talk? Yes. Sure, why not? I, don't I like that, that it, it doesn't even look like he's facing us. He isn't. That explains it. I don't have time for visitors. Well, he seems to have time for you. Oh great, just when you think you get to play with your evil lab. Do I have to remind you who's in charge here? Now say something threatening and try not to embarrass us like you did last time. Oh, I've been practicing, I've been watch practicing. this. <laughs> I love this shit. <laughs> what? He's a bit shorter than what? you. What? <laughs> That's fucking amazing, I love him. <laughs> Who dares enter He's my the lane? Fucking best. <laughs> Is that the messenger? How have you heard of us? Looks like it. What do we do? Steal the scroll, of course. Good plan. Face the mighty oh. might of Roxton the Great. God damn it! I love this man. <laughs> this is just the best character already. Ow. I got shot. This is what? This is not a particularly hard boss fight. This is not fucking fun. Eggman's flying saucer, motherfucker. Get down from there! <laughs> Why can't it be the flying saucer? Because we're not a Sonic and the Hedgehog character. You don't oh, have dear. to be. <laughs> I'm sorry, what are you playing? One of those arcade games where you have to hit all the tiles away with a ball? <laughs> what was he trying to do there? Shoot you, I guess. Badly. Oh. Man, he gets me every time with that shot. Maybe you should start using your fucking little uh, shuriken things, I'm thinking. Ah, damn it! <laughs> he did it again! <laughs> that ought to do it. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, that was a bad decision in life. Alright. I gotta not get killed now. Okay. I think I got this. Got him! Nice shot. <laughs> well, he seems a bit uh, upset. <laughs> Wait, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're a stick. 
It's over. This evil thing is clearly not working out for us, no matter how many skulls we slap onto ourselves. Any suggestions, man? I'm listening. I don't know, just something else. Like what? Introspection would be a good start. What has all this brought us, really? Ridiculous. I'm sticking to evil. Oh yeah? And how are you going to accomplish anything if I'm not carrying you? Good point. Well, I could... That's... Yeah, that's a good point, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Self-aware, intelligent stuff. It's settled, then. Carry on, Take messenger. Take a horticulture or something. We promise not to cause the world any harm. Well, you could take up cactus horticulture or something. Ca why cactus? <laughs> Normal horticulture is too boring. You can throw people into cacti, and that's evil. Not necessarily. <laughs> no, here's what you do: you throw people into chola. What is that? Uh, basically, I can't remember if it's a plant or a life form, but it's basically a ball of spikes that does not fucking let go and hurts like a bitch. Oh, I think I've seen uh, an image of that. Yeah, they're called Chola. Um, somebody I follow on Tumblr has mentioned them a few times. They just, they look fucking vicious. Isn't it just a plant? <laughs> I think it's a plant, maybe. I can't remember if it was a plant or some kind of a life form. I think it's just a plant. It has a tendency well, to be very sticky. Whatever it is, it's fucking painful, apparently. Do you have upgrade? Ah, uh, well... Keep upgrade, please. Well, he does, but oh, oh. I don't have money. Bamboo Creek! That must be a sight for sore eyes after you trek in the catacombs. Sure is. Do make the best of it. This place is as close to a day off as you'll get on this adventure. I'll try. I just didn't know something so cheerful existed. I guess that says more about your mindset than about the world. Okay. True that. What are these crystals I'm collecting? So you're a touch the unidentified magic object first and ask questions later kind of guy. Every D&D party <laughs> I've ever had in my entire goddamn life. They're time shards. I can use them to augment your abilities. How does it work? Exactly the way we have been doing it so far. You select what you want and give me the required amount of shards so I can do my thing. I meant the spell itself. It's complicated. But I'm curious. And I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> Any stories? To, I want to know if he has any stories to share. He shares random fairy tales. Please don't touch the cabinet. What if I touch it again? You're not ready for what's in there. You think you can just barge into my lab and go through my stuff like you own the place? Yes. There's no skeleton in there, I promise. <laughs> Skeleton in the closet, Don't reference. Touch. I like that. It's empty anyway. What's in there? Don't make me lock it. Why wasn't it locked with her offhand? <laughs> hey, Save fuck. humanity! Hey, fuck you, I'm working on it. If you touch that again, you'll have to sit through my boring story. Sure, fucking go for it again. I'm warning you, it's boring. <laughs> it's philosophical. That just makes me want to know more. I'll even remove your ability to skip while I'm saying. Fuck it, go for it. This is your last warning. Go for it, go for it, go for it. I want to know what happens. You better make sure you have some time ahead of you if you're gonna touch that again. You asked for it. <laughs> and now you actually cannot skip his dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing that keeps bugging me is this concept of happiness. Everyone seems to be looking for it, some pretend to have it, but no one can really explain what it is. I think I finally cracked that code. You see, everyone has goals. So you think, oh, when I have this, I'll be happy, or, or when I achieve that, I'll feel eternal bliss. Some people are looking for love or acceptance, while others simply hope Devolver will sign their kick-ass game. <laughs> From my perspective, sitting Meta here... Meta-commentary! 
Sitting here at the end of time and being visited by countless travelers, I came to realize something very important. Goals don't make people happy, they defer happiness into the future to when the goal will be achieved. This can only fail because once you reach your goal, you are not the same person you were when you set out to achieve it. And what's more, your mindset is to chase something instead of enjoying what you have. So there you have it. Happiness is not a goal or a state, it's a system. Um, sure, I guess. The thing is, he's not, he's, the thing is, they're not actually wrong. Not entirely, no. Like, he's overthought it a bit and he hasn't come to a good conclusion. But the thing is, he's not actually wrong. Did it both, really? <laughs> and that implies that he stopped trying to open my cabinet. <laughs> You should see what I did to the last traveler who got nosy. Hey, I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering when something was gonna mention that thing. You can't talk to it otherwise, so it's like the only time that gets brought up. Anyway, that, so that was another that was another researcher it seems. So that was well, the cabinet thing. That was ac that was actually incredibly interesting. It was philosophical, I suppose. <laughs> oh wow. I actually broke that projectile that was about to smack me in the head. That's always a good thing. Yep. Oh, nice, got through. It may not seem like it, but crushing is a big hazard in this game and it's very easy to get crushed. Oh, that's pretty damn cool. Now it gets better later on. The more of stuff we get, the more crazy it gets to do platforming and stuff. Which I approve. I like how they make good use of all the upgrades in the game. I'm trying to think of a game. There was a game I played recently where movement and motion were a big part of it, and it just felt amazing to do anything in it. And I can't remember what it was called. Was it Boogerman? <laughs> it was not Boogerman! <laughs> Shit. This is it clearly getting your ass handed to you, man, though. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> I got this. The fuck was that? That's just some plant. Just some rogue plant. Oh, hello? Big money again. Mm, big money. No whammies. Oh yeah, another great thing about this game. You can play it with the Xbox One controller's D-pad. Don't you just love it when games let you use the D-pad instead of forcing you to use the analog stick when they're clearly Especially not made for that? <laughs> Especially retro stuff like this. I'm looking at you, like Salt and Sanctuary. <laughs> sanctuary. <laughs> I mean, it works, but I'd rather use the D-pad, thank you. <laughs> Cunt. Can I buy a thing? <laughs> damn it! God I'm damn it all the hell. I'm four monies short! Ow! Give a couple, kill a couple of things, you got it. Give money, give money, give money! <laughs> you're one you're now you're one money short! Big money, no whammies. There we go. What is that thing in the jar? I don't know. Here we go. Now we have all of the sometimes drop stuff upgrades. So now enemies I did this that. enemies now drop uh, both health and uh, shuriken charges. Well, that's good. Except you don't really use the shurikens all that much, it seems. I do. It's just well, I've managed to get decent at this game that I don't actually need to use them that often. Oh, oh dear. fuck! I was about to say maybe you want to move. <laughs> Damn! I forgot that I can't tank this. Yet. Oh, hello! What the hell was that? What happened? I almost died just there. Strictly speaking, you did. But how? My name's Quarble. Quarble? Seriously? Quarble? I guess. At your service. I am the one you never would have met had you any skills. Hey, shut up. Oh! <laughs> The gist of it is, I have a magic ring that allows me to control space and time. 
So whenever you are about to die, I will appear to stop everything and teleport you back to the latest checkpoint. What's the catch? Well, for one, you will still feel agonizing pain every single time. Excellent. Also, I'm keeping track of your debt in my little notepad. So I'll stick around to steal your loot until either we're even or I am bored. I mean, I can let you die if you prefer. It seems we have a deal. Let me see <laughs> eye to eyes. Carry on then. Yeah, he sticks around and takes away some of your money until he decides to just go. What then, happens when he just goes? When he goes, you get to keep the money that you collect afterwards. Oh. But until he's... I do like that he said the phrase eye to eyes, because <laughs> he only has one eye and you have two. That's a very nice touch. Yeah, until you get rid of him, you cannot gain money. Eh, it doesn't penalize you too much, bad. You can always think... grind for some good cash. I don't feel that it's a Still big doesn't... penalty because he doesn't take away that much money. And if you really feel that it does, there is an upgrade you can buy just for that. To make him take less money? Yes. That's hilarious. I should probably he check what's up gone there. away. Oh yeah, he did. Good. Yeah, I should check up there. I guess I'm not getting that achievement for getting to a specific level bef be 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 without dying first. But well, whatever. Oh well. It's kind of just happiness. It's kind of tough to get it in the first place because the level I need to get to is uh, a bit of a ways away. <laughs> Well, well, but he what, didn't stand a fucking chance. What can I say? This lift is operated by ninja. Ninja-powered lift. I would love to ride on a ninja-powered lift. I don't know. That sounds kind of terrifying, man. Wait, how do I open that? <laughs> I don't know. It seems to be a door. Oh, oh fuck! There we go. It seems to be a door. Let me see. Oh, wait a minute. I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm dumb. I was about to say, you can jump up there. I'm fucking stupid. It's evidenced by the fact you just did that. Fuck this. <laughs> I love Fuck this, this shit. shit. I'm out. I'm... Fuck. Not this again. <laughs> <laughs> not the spikes. Not the spikes. Not like this. <laughs> Money! Nice. Nice shot. That was fucking beautiful to watch. Oh. Yeah, once you master the movement in this game, it's so much fun to just hop around uh, through the air. In fact, a fun challenge to do is see how long you can stay in the air before you touch the ground. It can be very exhilarating, actually. Especially once you get all the movement upgrades. Damn, is it a lot of fun to just stay in the air. <laughs> and it's absolutely doable. Like, you can get some good air time. Easily in the amounts of minutes, I would say. Oh, damn, very nice. And some later bosses will actually require you to master these techniques because uh, touching ground will be a bad idea. <laughs> that sounds like it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Definitely is the first time around. Oh, the amount of curva that was said. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be surprised actually if we managed to get past the halfway point in this game because this is a pretty lengthy game, as I said. But there is oh, yeah. a, a very good reason for it, I feel. And, well, it has a bit to do with the genre of the game, I would say. Anyway, do I have something I can buy? No, everything is too expensive. Especially this. Just reducing damage. Look at that money. He is asking a lot. Oh, yeah. That's a heck of a lot of money. And there's another upgrade that costs 2,000. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, by the way, you see that on the ledge? Looks kind of like a ladder, doesn't it? 
It really does. Money. Oh, big money. Not Very nice. nice. Splush. If for some reason you get an achievement for dropping down this waterfall. That's strange. I don't really know why. Maybe it's a reference to something. This boss time. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, never mind. But there is a boss in this area. Direction. Oh yeah, we also get a new movement upgrade here. Because we kinda have to. Hmm. You'd think you could just do this, but wait, no, no, you can't. This is fuck this fucking cliff is blocking your way. <laughs>